Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here, and I'm going to show you how to use what we call one variable statistics or one of our stats in the Italian Spire um, CX. So I don't know why I paused there for so long. Hmm. Let me pause one more time for uh, for a very default thought. Okay. Anyway, um, going back to this. So uh, we see apples. This is 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, lots of apples here. Uh, if you watched my previous videos, you know why I have apples in my spreadsheet. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up a new spreadsheet and put some data in the spreadsheet. I put in apples because uh, maybe I'm hungry tonight uh, and apples taste good. Oh, yeah, I had great apples in my salad. Um, okay, let me just go on. So I have uh, my data here, and what I'm going to do is I want to find one variable statistics. I want to find some statistics for these data. Guys, we're, if you're in my AP says we are going to use this function so often. It's like one of the most basic functions and the one you really need to know, uh, all really, really need to know well because you will use it quite often. So it's called one variable stats. What we're going to be doing is once we have our data in, we're gonna and we're just gonna put our cursor right on the next column, the first one, the next column. We'll hit menu, statistics, and the first one to pop up in statistics will be stat calculations, and we're gonna go one variable statistics. So if that was too fast for you, slow me down and go backwards and rewind till you get to this part. So we're gonna click on one variable statistics. We have one list, just Apple. If we had another list, we could possibly two, do two lists, but uh, for now, we're only going to do one list. Okay, so our X list, this is the list that we're looking at. So I'm going to click sideways here, and I did have Peach and Random in there earlier. If you watched the previous video, you know what I'm talking about, but otherwise, we're going to pick Apple because that's what we want to find out. Um, our frequency list, we don't have a frequency list. We will use frequency list later on but not for um, just one variable, just not, not for one column here. When we're just looking at Apple, we're not going to use frequency list. We don't have any categories. We're going to go ahead and put our results in column C, which was fine, and we'll hit OK. And we've got all this information in column C here. So let's talk about what these things are. So the first thing here we have is X bar. And let me scroll down just a little bit. I'm going to write here. And the first thing we have is X bar. Now, X bar, this is, we call this X bar. And X bar is the average. The average, or sometimes we, um, or more appropriately, is called the mean. So my average, my mean, is 11.857. So that's the first really important one. The next really important statistic that we have here is this SX. The SX here, S of X, this is called the standard deviation. And we'll talk more about what the standard deviation is, why we use it, why it's important. This is really like, uh, uh, like one of the, I would say, most important things in all of statistics is the standard deviation. So if there's one thing I want you to leave my course later on this year knowing it's what a standard deviation is and how we use it. Not necessarily how we calculate it because here it is, guys. It's calculated for you. There's the standard deviation. But what does it mean? Why do we use it? Why is it important? Um, this one right here is sigma x, and that is also a standard deviation, but it's a different standard deviation. Sx is the sample, it's called the sample standard deviation, where sig, this is called a sigma, okay? Sigma x is the um, population standard deviation. And we'll talk about population standard, I can't even spell population, guys. Um, population standard deviation. And we'll talk about the difference between those two um, in class all right but for now you need to be able to find x bar or the mean and sx all right let's take a look at what other things we have in here we have something called the five number summary which we'll talk about in a later time in class but the five number summary here is uh, these five different things we've got the min that's our minimum value we've got our what we call q1 which is what we call our first quartile 
which basically means 25% of the data is below that number. We've got our median, all right? It, clearly, I don't have to write, rewrite median. It says median. Q3, what do you think that is? That's the third quartile. That's what we call it. And then we have our max, all right? One, two, three, four, five. These five things are called the five number summary. Now, we'll talk more about the five number summary in class, but I did want to show you how to use, you know, that we can see that in the one variable stats. If we keep going on, we have this, what we call the sum of the squares. We're really not going to use that. Um, and we're not going to use, or this is the sum of the squares. And this is the sum of the um, squared deviations, which we won't use either. But I wanted to show you that was there. Okay, so these are all the things in one variable stats. And really, guys, we are going to use this quite often. So there you go. Um, all the things you need to know for one var stats or one variable stats in the TI Inspire. See you guys later. That was the last video for my AP Stats summer work. We will see you in August. Bye, guys.